Okay, today I'm gonna to be crushing ballistic gel. So ballistic gel is used um, because it closely mimics how human flesh reacts under impact. Okay, so first to test out our ballistic gel, I'm going to make a dry ice bomb and put our ballistic gel on top of it and watch it explode. Okay, as soon as I pour the water in here, Ooh. I'm not gonna have much time as soon as I put the lid on. Okay, here we go. As soon as I tighten this lid. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so the main injury is this gash to the side right there. So that would have been a big, big open wound if you were holding that. But it didn't blow it apart. I thought it would blow it apart. If it were wrapped around it, so if you were holding it like that, for sure would have blown your hand apart. Okay, so I put this rag down so the gel doesn't slide out. Okay, ballistic gel crushed by a hydraulic press. Three, two, one. Can it withstand the impact? Let's see. Split. <laughs> Whoa, look at that brown mold. Whoa, it hasn't broken yet. Wow. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, that was cool. That held up for a long time like that. Wow. So it just became these little tiny pieces that shot out. It held together for a long time until the press was about right here and then it finally broke. That's cool. So that means if your hand didn't have any bone in it or anything and you put it under there, it would squish down to about here then split open. Sorry, that was kind of gory. So the ballistic gel under the hydraulic press looks worse off than when we set off a small bomb under it. <laughs> that was cool to see. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of Hydraulic Press Action. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, remember to subscribe if you haven't yet. And like this video, comment in the comments section with what you'd like to see me crush next time. And you can send me stuff to my PO box if it's something cool or interesting that you want to see get crushed. And I'll see you next time.